Hi, welcome to A Warsi. On this video, we have two figures from Jujutsu Kaisen anime series for unboxing. We have a Gojo from Good Smile Company, Pop Up Poet, as well as Nobala, also from Good Smile Company. I really like the bright colors on the background of the box. Alright, let's unbox. Open the lid, take out the blister pack, cut for tapes. Take off the lid, take out the stand, remove the plastic. Take out Gojo and Nabala, remove the plastic. Take out Gojo's spearhead, take out Nabala's hammer. Let's build. Attach the hammer to Nabala, attach the base to the body. Three pegs for Nabala, two pegs for Gojo. Here we have the Gojo and Nabala pop-up parade from Good Smile Company. Let's have a closer look at both of them. Excellent head sculpt, really loving the finish on the hair and the shading. Really nice finish on the eyes. Same with Gojo, the hair has a really nice finish with a nice expression. There is a spare head without the eye mask. You can easily swap out the head, pulling it off and attaching the other head on. A different hairstyle with the hair down, excellent details on the eyes. That it shines a bit, they got the eyelashes. There is some paint imperfection on the hair, but only way minor. There are the two heads side by side. Which one do you prefer? On the back of the two figures, great finish on both of the hair, for a bit of a plain finish on the uniform, they got the pouch for Nobala, and then some shading on the stocking. Onto the hands, they got the nails, looks like the nails are piercing the hand instead of holding onto them. The other hand with the hammer looks much better, got your hands is with your sign, it's really elegant design. Nice finish on the buttons from Nobala, you can see the shirt and the buttons on the belt, nice flow on the on brown school shoes and a red orange base. Black glossy finish shoe and a blue base. Both of them really nicely done with great poses. Let's put in the other Jujutsu Kaisen pop up parade, they have a Yuji and Megumi. All scale well together, slightly different heights for each. Yuji also comes up with an alternate head sculpt with Sukuna, easy to swap out as well, but it doesn't look very nice. The Gojo one goes a lot better as an alternate head. Close up on all the faces, really nicely done. Excellent finish on the eyes and the hair with some shading. Let's put in the original head sculpt for Yuji and Gojo. There we go, looking awesome. It's really nicely finished on the details for Gojo. From the back, all look a little bit plain. The color bases, it's not too bad. The dust colors kind of work as a set. Let's bring in some of the other sets. In for Taiko set, a little bit taller than the pop-up parade and the bases are much nicer than the pop-up parade with the effects on them. They went with the master schedule, we'll compare the Gojo after this segment and Yuji and Nobala, you have to elevate them high to be able to see their faces. Let's bring in for Band Presto, Juha no Jutsu line, it's a similar height to the Taiko, for Nobala looks quite small, for Yuji's pose you might need to put him up high to be able to see his face and for some reason there's some highlights on Gojo's pants. Let's compare for different Gojo prize figures, in addition bring in the Sega SPM Gojo. All slightly different scales. The pop-up parade is quite small compared to the other ones and all way with different price range as well. Let's check out the head sculpt. The pop-up parade has the nicest hair finish as well as a clean finish on the cloth covering the eye. They will have nice hand sculpt and nice finish on the outfits. And comparing the Taiko with the alternate head, the pop-up parade eyes are just a little bit bigger and semi shiny finish to it with a nice expression. I think the Taito's hair flows a little bit better. It is pretty nice to display them all together, each with the different poses but a little bit similar. Both the Sega SPM and the pop-up parade have a very really similar pose. Let's bring in the band presto and the Taiko Nobala to compare. Just like the Gojo, the different scales, but the band presto one is quite similar height to the pop-up parade. Oh, we'll have a nice finish on the eyes. The pop-up parade has the nicest finish on the hair with some shading and the nicest color, whereas the band presto one is a bit too light. Comparing the nails, the Taiko one has the nicest finish and almost looks like it's holding the hand, whereas the band presto one makes it look like Nobala is moving. wing. Looking at the hammer, the Taiko one is the most plain and doesn't even have the heart. The band presto one is not too bad with a nice metallic finish but the paint application is not as nice. From the back, playing with new form, we have the brown bag, extra point for pop-up parade with the painted button. The brown pencil one has two different colors for the belt and the bag and the Taiko one is not a really nice looking color. You can display them together, pop-up parade and the brown pencil's poses are a bit too similar. If you have been enjoying the video, please give it a like. Alright, you got your figure. Really nice finish, so a little bit small in scale. I do like how it comes to the spare head. So this is a brilliant slash buy. For the Nobala, also a really nice finish as well. Even for the little details on the hair, it's not quite nice. Then really well capturing the character with a really nice finish. So this is also a brilliant slash buy. If you'd like to see more Jujutsu Kaisen unboxing, please go over here. <laughs> Bye.